Hi there, I'm Josh Brown. I'm actually the administrative coordinator for the Department of Lifelong Learning here at Virginia Theological Seminary. But what you might not have known is that my second job is actually as a music director at a church in Northern Virginia. It's actually Holy Trinity Lutheran Church in Falls Church, Virginia. Yeah. And so I know this is a difficult time. Uh, I feel, I don't know about you all, but I feel like we're kind of all figuring out how to pivot uh, to live streaming or to doing things online or virtually in terms of our worship and our music program. And it feels a little bit like we're all inventing it as we go along. So I thought if we shared some of our experiences uh, and some of our know-how as well as the different things that are working for us, that it could only help. So I'll start off with a few points I wanted to make, uh, just describing what we did at our church. I know that may not fit for everyone, but feel free to listen and maybe some of it will help at least. So one of the first things we did as a congregation is we pivoted to live stream right away once the, shirt, the church was shut down. Um, we simplified things at first, maybe just one or two hymns. We tried it with a laptop in the choir loft on the Wi-Fi, which was shaky. Let's just say it didn't go very well. Um, so a few things we've learned in the weeks since are number one in terms of technology. Uh, number one, your connection is really important. So if you're using Zoom or some other platform, Facebook Live, you wanna have a solid connection. So you wanna be hardwired through an ethernet cable, not relying on Wi-Fi. So whatever router is in the church, even if you have to buy a 50 foot cable, an ethernet cable, you wanna get yourself directly connected to it so that you have uh, more bandwidth and uh, an easier time. Uh, another thing I would say is the camera uh, not so important. I mean, you could hook up a, a separate camera, but what you do wanna do is not necessarily involve um, the microphone of a laptop or a phone, although phones are pretty good these days. I'm recording this on my iPhone, for instance. Um, but it's pretty simple to just get a, a high quality microphone. I think we got an omnidirectional one that we tried out that hooked up to USB into the laptop we used for live streaming the music part. Um, we went more complicated after that, but even that alone will bump up the quality of your audio during your Zoom meeting if you're using um, you, you know, Zoom for music. Something that we're doing, I'm not sure it would help everyone. Um, we're still going into the space. I know some sanctuaries are closed uh, but we're going in and live streaming the whole service and sharing the screen of the music department, which is my, I'm part-time there as the music director and choir director. And there's also an accompanist who's also part-time. So that's how it works at our church. Um, so we're both going up there, trying to keep our distance as much as we can while the pastor is in the sanctuary itself running the service. When it's time for music, he'll share our screen and our device and our audio, and then we'll do the hymns or the liturgical music uh, that we have in there, right? So technically, we've set up a little recording studio up there. We have standing mics, we've got a microphone for vocals, we've got a keyboard that connects into an amp, and then that amp goes into a mixer, adjusted levels individually, and then that mixer through a USB connection, which, uh, eventually gets there. There's there's a little bit of a converter there and needed to get into the laptop. Goes directly into the laptop and we found that that works really well, right? And I know that might be unique. Um, we found that with the standing mics on either side of the choir loft, it actually picks up the organ pipes too. We have a, a pipe organ. So between all of that stuff, uh, we actually are still live streaming services every other week. One week is more traditional with organ and canter the other week uh, with our keyboard um, is more of a, a piano type of service. We usually have p uh, guitar and bass and more of a contemporary feel. So we're able to switch it up every other week, which provides some contrast, which works really well. Um, let's see, that's pretty much our technology setup. Um, we're gonna keep doing that for the foreseeable future. Uh, one way that we are involving our congregation is by asking them to record music at home so that they can stay safe and still quarantine 
but still feel part of the service. So for an anthem slot or a special music slot, or I guess you could do an offertory slot if you wanted, um, I'm asking our talented members of our congregation to record those videos, submit them to me, and then when I'm up in the choir loft, I'll actually share that video, making sure to share the audio from my computer and play it for everyone on the Zoom meeting live. So although they're not technically there, they still kind of feel like they have a part of it, you know, and get to offer their talents like they may on a regular Sunday. Uh, it's tough when you have choir um, and bells. We have a bell choir as well and a praise band. So, you know, they're not feeling terribly involved right now since it's just the staff members at the church live streaming. But a few ways we found that work to keep them involved is we, during that time where we would normally rehearse during the week on Thursday night, we have a scheduled Zoom happy hour. So we just grab our drink or not. It's really more of a hangout session. And we chat about how things are going, who's doing what, you know, just to keep that sense of community. Cause you know, being in choir or bells or the, the praise band, that is a sense of community, you know, and people come for that, not just their musical you know, contributions. So yeah, um, I'm doing a couple of experiments with the acapella app where you get to have four different screens um, where one person records one and the other person. So we're, we're experimenting with that. Um, we'll see where it goes. But so far, I think things are going pretty well. Obviously it's a little scary um, making that switch, but I'm curious, what are, what are you all doing? Let us know.